Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Lexi. Today I'm going to show you how to make a gluten-free pasta salad. Do you ever have to go to a barbecue and you think, I don't want to stand out because I have to eat gluten-free? Well, this pasta salad, you don't even have to tell anybody, is gluten-free. So come along with me to show you how you make it. This pasta salad is gluten-free, healthy, and refreshing. Now, when you're cutting these vegetables, there's really no right or wrong way to do it. You can cut them big, you can cut them small. It's up to you, depending on the size of crunch you want. Nobody's gonna know, so you just do you. Just cooking some gluten-free pasta, whatever you got will be just fine. Who doesn't love bacon in a pasta salad? My pasta took about 12 minutes to cook, now time to drain it. An important tip to keep in mind when you're making pasta salad, after you drain the water, you want to make sure you put cold water on it so that you stop the cooking process. You don't want to have your pasta turn into mush. Okay, the pasta is now cooked, rinsed, and cooled off, so I'm going to add some of my Bertoli olive oil. You want to make sure that you put some olive oil on your pasta so that it doesn't stick together. You don't want to have big clumps of pasta all stuck together. So I'm going to add about two tablespoons of olive oil, and I'm just going to mix it all together then, just so it's evenly coated. So I just thought I'd keep it real with you guys. Here's a look at my counter. So you might see my video and think, man, that kitchen looks super clean, but I haven't decided yet. Am I gonna use this bowl to put it in? Am I gonna use this bowl? Do I want all of these peppers and celery and carrots? I don't know. So I just kind of go with the flow. Still chopping my vegetables onto the cucumbers. Got my veggies cut and I cooked some bacon, just crumbled it up. Bacon goes better with everything, right? So when we go ahead and put the pasta together, pasta salad together, you can just customize it to whatever you want. If you have some leftover veggies in your refrigerator you need to use up, this is perfect time to use up those vegetables. There's really no right or wrong way to do it. Just go ahead and start dumping and you can add a little more, add a little less. So I've got some orange pepper, some celery, yellow pepper. Basically I love to add all the colors to a pasta salad because you're supposed to eat your vegetables and this is a great way to incorporate them in. The more colors the better. Some carrots, some red pepper, I got some tomatoes, I'm gonna put the bacon in last, so we'll just mix this all up. So the nice thing about this pasta salad is it's a healthy option. Sometimes you go to a barbecue and there's not really any healthy options because let's be real, you don't go to barbecues that often. So it's okay to like indulge, but sometimes you just wanna feel a little bit on the healthy side. This is an option for you. Okay, I'm gonna add my Kraft light and zesty Italian dressing to this. The one thing you need to remember about pasta salad is that <laughs> Okay, I'm on take four of this. I'm gonna get it this time. I'm using my Kraft Light and Zesty Italian dressing. The one thing you need to remember about pasta is that it's really gonna soak up whatever liquid you put on it. So before you go to your party, make sure that you give it a nice stir, and if you need to add more, add some more so that it doesn't dry out once you get there. For a reference, I used an entire bottle to start with, and I might have to add some more once I head to my party. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper. Now this is just to taste, so whatever your taste buds want, that's how much you'll add. Look at all these colors. This is wonderful, look at that. Best part now, adding the bacon. Dump it right in, give it a nice little stir. That's my favorite part of the whole video. It's taste test time, there we go. You can't tell these noodles are gluten-free. Your secret's gonna be safe with me when you take this to the barbecue. Well, that's all the time I have for this one. 
Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Cooking with Lexi.